my bench is a bit of a mess because I, I took this motor out of a uh, drill press that I got at a garage sale. It has the same RPMs and uh, all the other information seem to match uh, commercial drum sanders that I found. So it, I think it'll be a good match for my drum sander that I'm going to try and build. Um, right now I'm working on the motor mount and I have this two by sock that, or a piece of scrap that I've uh, ripped to thickness to fit in here. I'm going to round over this edge here with like a rasp or something so that it'll sit flush and then I'm going to drill a hole there and get like a carriage bolt or something to mount this in really good and we'll see where that goes. So the hole for this is 5 sixteenths and luck you know would have it. I have a 5 sixteenths carriage bolt but what I don't have is the nut that goes along with it so it's a little late now so tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get uh, I'll get a real bolt and a nut for this um, hopefully I'll get the rest of this dimensioned. Another thing I'd like to figure out is how to fasten this side of the motor down onto this piece. Not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, probably be difficult to drill into this because of the way the motor works and I can't detach this plate. It's welded on there. Um, not sure what I'm going to do there yet. I had some leftover, what are these, uh, table top fasteners from my shoe bench and well with a little coaxing with a hammer it, I was able to flatten it out and I think that will hold this down pretty well so I'm going to give that a try. The metal bracket worked great. It is on there really good and I'm able to remove the bracket and I'll be able to remove the motor at any time which I'm going to have to do to trim this piece down. And so I mean I could turn on the motor and it's on there really good. I'm very happy with that. So that little bracket worked out great. Alright so here's the plan so far. I'm going to glue the, this, the motor mount block here to this 3 quarter inch plywood that gives me a pretty thick surface. I'm going to epoxy in one of these rings. I'm probably going to get a uh, thinner one, but I'm going to epoxy this in, you know, through here. And what that'll do is that'll give me a good surface for a pipe, kind of like this. It's not threaded that this will act as a counterbalance. And then on this side, I will have this threaded rod and two T-nuts screwed in over here. And that way I can just rotate this rod and that will raise and lower the motor mount. Then I have this backboard here, which you can't see. Let me move the camera. There you go. I have this backboard here that I'm going to attach and the reason why I want to do that is I want to add a screw knob to the back so the outside area that this moves up and down in will have a screw knob that will lock this in place. So this whole car the motor carriage will move up and down inside this box and I'll have a screw knob here to lock this inside the box so in theory it won't move. Alright so I have the motor mount done. I'm going to freehand this. I'm really bad at the freehand camera so I'm sorry for all the shakiness but I wanted to show all the little parts about it. So the motor is attached down here using this hex bolt and then this little table bracket that I hammered mostly flat. Um, that, I mean, it, it's on there really good. It's not going anywhere. Um, here I used, it was about a two inch thick um, steel connector doodad that I picked up at the home center. And then this is a three eighth inch piece of aluminum rod. I probably should have used a steel rod, but I thought I was going to have to cut it, and I don't have an angle grinder, so I just figured I'd get aluminum so I can hacksaw through it. In the final version, I'll probably use a steel rod and suck it up and get an angle grinder to cut it down. The, this is for balance, so the idea is, is it'll flow through, or, uh, flow through freely. Um, it, it doesn't do the best of job, 
but it, it should work once this is uh, mounted stably in the outside carriage unit that I have to yet to build. Over here, I have two T-nuts. One at the bottom, let's see if we can, there it is. One at the bottom, then one at the top, and what this is is for this threaded rod, which I will pull out so you can see. The threaded rod is two feet, and I may end up cutting it down, I'm not sure, but what's the idea is, is this part up here will sit in the top of the outside carriage, or the lift, elevator lift, and what will happen is, is this will be mounted to the elevator lift, and then this will be able to float freely, and as you turn it, right now it's going down, but the idea is, is it will pull the motor up. So as you turn it, it'll pull the motor up or turn it the other way and it'll let the motor go down. So, and then in the back here, I just have this, um, it's just a little uh, T-bolt and a knob and I plan on having another board here that I'll be able to just tighten that and that'll lock this into place so when the motor's running, it won't vibrate this loose or anything like that, because this is still, I mean, it's not super tight or anything, so this is what'll lock everything into position. So now I need to build the outside, bo the elevator box or whatever I want to call it, that this will f slide up and down in. So, all right, that's next. So here's my prototype lift system for the drum sander I want to make, or a thickness sander. I'm not sure what the actual proper term for it is, but it's, yeah. Um, so I'm going to pick up the camera. Hopefully I won't make everyone sick with motion sickness. Originally, I was going to go with like a gear-based system. I was going to have a gear that rotates around and then another gear up here, but um, I got lazy. It's the end of the day, and I pretty much learned everything I think I'm going to learn from this prototype, so I said, eh, I'll just make this really crappy handle. Uh, it works. You basically spin this around. It spins the whole shaft, and you can see... It goes up very, very slowly. Um, several things that I've learned. One, I need to make this block thicker. So it needs to be like about that thick on both sides. The, this rod and this rod needs to be thicker. This actually worked out really well. Um, I like how this works in the sense that it definitely adds some support. The problem is because this rod is so thin, the threaded rod, it doesn't uh, keep it as level. And so what will happen is, is over here it will bind when raising and lowering too much. Um, I also would like to find a good way to fasten these the ball bearings in without making it so... I can't remove them. Right now, they're just kind of sitting, free-floating in a slot. And the problem is, when this one down here, this one can come up when this gets raised or and whatnot. This can sometimes accidentally come loose, and I don't like that. Um, other than that, this just kind of sits in there and works pretty well. I think it'll work better if it gets uh, if it's thicker. And I'll probably use a steel rod instead of an aluminum one that I did here. Uh, I was just anticipating having to cut it and wasn't really in the mood to buy an angle grinder. So the I, I mean it, it works out pretty well. The vibration on it is is almost non-existent. It doesn't vibrate hardly at all, so that's always a good sign. Um, it's nice and sturdy. I'm very happy with it. I mean, overall, the mechanism works. This rotates and it just lowers and I can raise it ever so slowly, and that's really all I need 
this mechanism to actually do is just to raise and lower the motor. So my next step besides planning out the final version of this is I need to figure out what I can attach to this part on the motor so that I can attach something that I'm going to attach the sandpaper to. I'm going to ha most likely have like a, a ring made of MDF or plywood or something that will be four or five inches in diameter and either I need to extend this shaft out to the length of whatever that's going to be or I need something like on my lathe something like this piece here would be awesome if I could get something like that on my motor that would be great because then I can you know screw in these four slots I mean that wouldn't go anywhere um, and I might actually if I could find a coupler or whatever I, it's called that I could screw one of these in I got this from Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks so I get another one of these and get some kind of adapter for this to attach to here um, that would be great I don't know if such an adapter exists I would imagine it's like some sort of threaded adapter with like a set screw um, I'm not sure uh, if you're familiar with such things and know what it is uh, feel free to let me know because I would like to know